You know, Riddler just likes to talk his mad crap constantly. Alright, let's see. Those if it wasn't are... Gordon, Ooh, Green's what a gas twist. must have affected me more than I thought. Are you lost, little bat? Having trouble figuring out what's real? Pretty sure I can wait for you to break this down. Alright, come on, Morris. <laughs> just roll with it, bats. It gets easier once you get in. It really does. Oh, never mind. Wow, okay. This guy's out. You're out, and you're out. What you get for hitting me once? No more tricks. Just one last puzzle and you can add more. And a little more. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Let's see if there's anything around here. Before I head that way, and yeah, I got an upgrade. All right, what do I want? What do I want? Sure. Never mind. Keep going back. Got to find Gordon for real. Get out of here! Oh, get out of here! Harley's under strict instructions to kill the old man if any of my guys even think you're in the room. They're patrolling down there. I've told them all you're on the way. So here's the deal. If you can find a way to get to Harley without anyone realizing, I'll give you your next present. Fail, and they will cut a dime. Hell, I may even give you Harley. <laughs> it looks like you could use a new sidekick. So, you have given in and taken my map. I hope it proves useful. Easy, isn't it? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Here, what's funny is... This guy... So, Bane in these games was kind of... I don't know, it wasn't a fan favorite necessarily. They kind of rectified this in the sequel and prequel because Bane is supposed to be this, master strategist, intense focus, and he's Latin American. And they got the Latin American part and the Venom part, which is the thing that gives him his powers. Venom not being related in any way whatsoever to Spider-Man Venom. So. In the later games, he has turned more to the tactician that he's known as, because when he came in, his first story is of him breaking the Batman, like literally breaking his back. And that was adapted for The Dark Knight Rises, although that version of Bane was not very good, and whitewashed too, might I add. It, it was good for the memes, you know, Gotham's Reckoner, which is always funny, and ever since that movie came out, I've been making fun of that voice. But, yeah, this... It's pretty interesting they gave him the bear, and of course the bear is called Osito, which just means little bear in, in <laughs> Spanish. Pretty interesting. And now, I'm gonna go deal with these guys. God, I just love the atmosphere in this game. Joke is not messy. He wants the old man kept safe from Batman. Anyone gets near him, and it won't be me carrying the can. No problem. Nothing's getting past me. Batman will be a dead man, and I'll be famous. Whatever. Get over sure. there and keep looking. Now go! Whatever you say. Remember, you even smell a man in tights, and Harley kills the old man. Harley, man, <laughs> This old man looks like he's gonna pee himself. Someone bring me a bucket. So what was it that gave it away? 
the big green glowing I think corner mark. takedowns work, so I'm gonna try one on this guy. See where he goes. Alright, he's going down the stairs. He's not ready for this. You'll be caught, Quinn. Caught and locked up. As you can see, the physics are all working now. There's all this fog going on. It just adds a ton of atmosphere. When physics, and this is spelled physics, but instead of ICS, it was an X. It's an NVIDIA specific feature, fun? NVIDIA you know, graphics card type. I'm using this. Oh, crap. Holly, the old man. I've got a shiny prize for the one who sees him first. But yeah, um, NVIDIA cards let you um, use this, this physics thing. It was pretty gimmicky around the time this game came out. I think they kind of died out in like 2012. But oh my God, Harley! But yeah, um, it just adds a layer of atmosphere to this game that I feel like would have been lost otherwise. Which is why I tried to fix it. Some of the few games where physics used properly. Yeah, shut up, Ridley. All right, goodbye, Harley. You took longer than I thought. No, you. He's out of control. He's trying to prove something. I'm not sure I can stop him this time. You'll do it. Batman, listen. We're not alone. He's got something else down there. I don't know what it is. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. What a about? Spoiling the surprise. Be quiet. <laughs> oh, am I getting to you? Am I? Good. <laughs> You're going to love this next bit. It wants Dr. Young's login. Never mind that. Get behind me. Now. Bane. Poor Bane. I thought he broke out of Blackgate. Cut me down. Who did this to you? Dr. Young, the Bruja. She drained the venom from my blood. Must stop. <laughs> Sorry, has Bane. The good doctor won't be a problem much longer. How do you like my puppet? What say we cut him down? Gordon, run! we go! Yeah, that'll do something. Bro, how weak is that wall? Do that or how strong is Batman? It's holy crap. Alright, so this is one thing that kind of sucks about this game. They improved in Arkham City and Arkham Warriors. A lot of the bosses are just this. With some exceptions. It's just, you know, the dude charging at you, just like the first mini boss from earlier. Bane has a slight variation, but yeah, it's pretty much just that the whole time. Oh, wow. Crazy. I used to die to this boss so many times as a kid. Mostly because it took me a long time to get the combat mechanics. And one day I just randomly decided to. Like, after I'd already beaten the game, like, this was like months later, I came back to the game and suddenly I was 10 times better. I realized I hadn't been using all the skills I'd unlocked. So, yeah, it took me some time, but. Oh, crap! Cool. I got really good. Oh, God, this is terrible. Oh! Thing that sucks about this fight, you can't really combo these guys very well because of having to focus on Bane at the same time. All right, this guy unfortunately is gonna get. Yeah, sorry, dude. He gets. I'm gonna show you guys something funny.
Alright, rush me again, I dare you. Oh, come on! You see all these rocks flying around? That's all part of physics. Adds so much depth to this fight. Oh my goodness, that took a lot of damage. Get out of here. Yeah, the duty is supposedly killed. If, if, if you know, we weren't in battle right now, we would say he's unconscious. There go two of them. See, look, those guys just got knocked out. Nothing wrong. Oh! Oh, I forgot I had the takedown. Let me just do that real quick. Total noob right now. Uh, I don't know why the game just does that where it misses. Sorry, bro. Things right. And now he's done. That didn't actually go as badly as I thought it would. Still got hit once though, so kind of embarrassing. Batman, you okay? I'm fine, Jim. Where's Quinn? Gone. Must have gotten loose while Bane was throwing you around. We need to get you off the island. I'm not a rookie. I can handle myself. <laughs> Could have been a death, but you know, it's Batman, so clearly he's not dead. Also, it's a wasted Batmobile. Jim, get back to the mainland. It's too dangerous here. I don't like leaving you here. Radio claims he's planted bombs all over Gotham. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. We're ready to go now, sir. Bane called Dr. Young Bruja. What does it mean? It's Spanish for witch. I wonder if they could even hear him say that. That was epic. Oracle, go through the city's computers. Pull up all you can find on Dr. Young. I'll go through anything you find once I get to the cave. A bat cave on Arkham Island? I built it years ago. It's best to plan ahead for situations like this. How'd you manage to keep this a secret? It's me, remember? So do you think Dr. Young's been experimenting with Venom? The same chemical that turns Bane into that animal? Yes, I'm worried. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. Joker wants the Venom, and that can only be trouble. I'm heading to Dead Man's Point in Arkham North. I'll contact you once I'm in the Batcave. Okay, swear there's... A trophy or something around here. Oh, I was right. Easy. A blind man would have stumbled over Yeah, they would have climbed up here and stumbled over it, yeah, sure. Ah, look, there's more. Take patient entities play. Joker is interesting. When Project Titan is operational, Joker will be the perfect subject. And this is pretty Good ironic afternoon. foreshadowing. Today I thought I'd skip back to our previous conversations about your family. Of course. I was born in a small I always wanted to join the circus, but my father wouldn't do it. And I'm familiar. My father was a cop. One week from 
Double check in here so I can go to the entrance now if it's still locked off. Ah, yes. Some riddles going. And patient interview. Patient interview 21. Enigma. Patient's name is Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> all right, never mind. There's nothing here. Good but... try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs, and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch. Can hobble around on three, you see. It's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. What a nihilist. Insane. Oh, look at these three. Whole thing I was saying about every time. You see a group of enemies in the video game, you know that's, that's the right way to go. In this game's case, chattering teeth as well. Bye bye. Oh! Let's see where this Arkham Point North is. All right. Basically, back the way we came. Guys. Goodbye to your arm. Goodbye to your leg. Batman always adjusts after each fight in these games. So one thing that I really like about this one, and this is something that persists throughout the franchise, and other superhero games went on to copy it, most recently Spider-Man. Oh. It's been a favorite suicide location in Arkham Island for over 100 years. Yeah, I know. I once saved an unfortunate inmate from leaping off into the rocks below. I found a cave entrance and over the years have moved a number of supplies in here. It's a regular home oh, away yeah, from home. Right. But yeah, I was gonna say, and also, how the heck did he, you know, move all that stuff completely unseen? And I mean, this is the kind of cool stuff about this game, having, you know, a second back cave. It adds to the lore of Arkham, because Arkham really, we only really know much, or like, the most we know about it is some episodes from the animated series, and then. There are scenes in, uh, if I remember correctly, oh yeah, 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 there's an actual comic that this story is based heavily on, literally called Arkham Asylum. Really disturbing art style, really horrific looking. And something that's special about it is that this story, they were able to flesh out Arkham even more. Or give it some of those, like, horror roots. But what I was saying earlier, before I got interrupted, I... Oracle, back cave talk. Um. Oh crap. Here we go. <clears throat> well, I guess I forgot what I was gonna say. Whatever. 
see if there's anything up here. I feel like there is, but maybe not. I used to explore every inch of the island when I was younger because I had nothing better to do. And this was my favorite game at the time. Okay. Oh, here we go again. My family's blood ran through the heart of Gotham. We were doctors, politicians, and teachers. We have been the organ cleaning the arterial filth from the city. We have been its servants, giving all to protect it. And still it has chosen to hurt us. Well, well, very profound, very edgy. I do say so myself. Lighting in here is so cool. Skulls. Should probably upgrade before I get to this cutscene because it's distracting. Let's see, what are my gadget upgrades? Oh, I'm gonna want that. Twin battery. Group two at once. Here we go. Now I remember what I was going to say earlier. Wow, I can't believe I got completely distracted. I just remembered in the middle of this cutscene. But, what I was going to talk about is the suit. Disabling countermeasures. Security yeah, 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 this is really cool. But yeah, the suits in this game, in each of the Arkham games, get destroyed as the game goes on. And in Spider-Man, they took inspiration from that, but the only real destruction happens in the first and last missions of the game. And that's about it, because there's so many suits. So to counter this in the new Miles Morales uh, spin-off slash sequel standalone thing, they have every suit has its own damage pattern. Oh, well, this is so cool. And you can also do this. Yeah, get rid of all these boxes. It's not moving day anymore. We're moved in. See you next year. So much detail in these games at Rock City. Just excellent work. Constantly pushing the boundaries. Dr. Young was heading up a project. It was big. Lots of external funding. Here are the last notes she filed. I can't make sense of it. What does it mean? Looks like she was experimenting on the Arkham patients. This new chemical only barely resembles the original Venom compound. There are a number of changes that appear to amplify the strength of the drug. Multiple references to a Titan formula. Even a small amount could trigger a Venom-like transformation in the host, eliminating the need for the storage tank Bane requires. Hang on. These notes aren't complete. The formula is missing. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Banes. My god. Is Joker crazy enough to do that? What am I saying? You've got to stop him. Alright, finally. Okay, I was waiting to use this, like, the whole game. But there we go, another gadget. And a staple of Batman's arsenal. I'm going after her. She was heading to the mansion with cash. I'm going up top via the catacombs. So cool. Just the mix of modern tech and kind of gothic architecture and fantasy. It's just all there. It's so good. Oh, sorry, boss. Took a little longer to find them than you figured it would. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try and be more precise next time I'm planning an island takeover. Hey, I didn't mean... What criticism I can take? I mean, I'm not perfect. Well, come to think of it, I'm pretty close to perfect, aren't I? Where was I? Oh, yes. Criticism from a 
Especially this Thanks. characterization. Oh, Here, I'll just set up just like that. Did I ever tell you the one about the guy who came home to find his wife? A paraplegic? <laughs> so this Joker's not only chaotic, he has a lot of like actual jokes. They're they're horrific, obviously. But he says them like thinking they're hilarious. He buys into it. Sometimes they are funny. Wow. But yeah, it's kind of really interesting. They've kind of lost that because of Heath Ledger Joker, which Heath Ledger Joker is a legend and is a great interpretation of the character. It's just that people have somewhat set their expectations differently ever since, which is ironic. This game came out a year after The Dark Knight. And things have changed now. Thankfully, people are finally kind of accepting that there can be multiple iterations of the character. You know, if they just stick with one, because, like I said, for so long, Heath Ledger Joker was, like, the one who was assumed Joker was like in the comics, and he's not. So, pretty interesting. Not an agent of chaos, as Heath Ledger says. Look crazy to me that this game came out so soon after the Dark Knight. It's it was a good idea because licensed movie licensed games like product licensed games were all pretty terrible for that time period, and this kind of changed uh, that and paved the way for much better superhero games in general. What was interesting is, nowadays they're doing the same thing with these kind of games, like Jedi Fallen Order for Star Wars. You know, just play this while we're running around. But yeah. And she cut him off. Destroy this Joker alias? One of Joker's oldest aliases. So... Joker pays Dr. Young to create his army, and then all of a sudden he stops. Doesn't make any sense. But yeah, it's interesting that you have games like Jedi Fallen Order with Star Wars. They came out literally right before Rise of Skywalker. And then now, with this new Batman game, we were supposed to be getting um, Gotham Knights, which I'm not too terribly excited for, but... It just shows you that the, the idea has shifted. So now these games are releasing closer to the movies, but they're not forced to be based on the movie or release at the exact same time, just in the same time period. Now, this is a cool little Easter egg. I'm pretty sure you can only get it around this time, but I'm going to do it. I will find you. Rip your flesh like paper. I me out as a kid. I knew it was coming too, but it still freaked me out. Jump scare. Just the atmosphere in here, like all these pipes, how disgusting it is. In general, how the game is laid out, it's just so good. Oh, another one of these puzzles, many sides riddles. Speaking of riddles. Sure, there's a lot of them in this room too. I, I spent a lot of time in this room and I even got lost in later sections in here. Just hunting down all these riddles and trophies. There is one. Hey, this is weird. The payments to Dr. Young's account didn't stop exactly. They were declined. Dr. Young put a block on her account. Sounds like she had a change of heart. She tried to block the payments. Joker doesn't like it when his partners try to back out. So he decided to get himself back to Arkham, find his formula, and create the army himself. Exactly. I've hacked into her email accounts. Two mails stand out. The first is Wait. a resignation letter dated last week. Sounds like she was trying to get away. 
And the second? A message from Joker. Well, Jack White. It's a long thread. Uh, she's begging to stop the experiment. Says it's too dangerous. She's not listening. Let's see. Random threats to her family. A couple of bad jokes. A picture of a dead baby in the threat. Go on. He says, I'm coming for you. I want what I paid for. And then... A joke about wheelchairs. Lovely. And a drawing of some kind of donkey. No mystery why she's so scared. I'm coming up to the surface. I'll find her. It's crazy to me how much detail they packed into this map. Because all the interior sections are huge in this game. That trophy was a test. Oh no! Ah, I fell! Get me out of here! Well, at least you guys get to see that animation. It's a unique animation. They thought of everything for this game. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Going up. And I bet you there's a riddle back here. Or a trophy. Yeah, it's gonna be a trophy. Yep. The only way I could have made that one easier to find is if I strapped it to the hood of that ludicrously ostentatious Funny. vehicle of this yours. Batmobile is not nearly as crazy as the one in the third game, which is basically a kind of reference version of the Batmobile from the Dark Knight Oh wait, yeah, that's right, hold on. You guys did not get to hear the first one, so it got cut off. There we go. Let's give it a good argument. You're kidding me, right? That thing's not a Put on the second one real quick. Oh, just kidding. I keep pressing the wrong button. Well, actually, no. After the explosion. This is why. <laughs> Rips all those webs open. Physics at work. Oh, and then I start walking backwards. Of course. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're about to be back on the island, so might as well listen before it happens. Patient session two. Patient and take a look at the art all around. Killer Jones, aka Killer Croc. So, is this the part where you try and reason with me? Find out why I did it, Doc. We're here to help you, Mr. Jones. You got a cure for me, then, Doc? Can you make me normal? Normal is a poor choice of words. So these two guys, interesting, I solved this riddle and so what's interesting about these two guys is the fact that, crap, whatever, I'll just explain that later. You got Hush here, who's interesting because his storyline was building in Arkham City, they made a whole deal about it, and then you play the game or the third game, Arkham Knight, that precedes it, and they just kind of like dropped it. It was really mediocre the way they handled it. I don't, I don't blame the team necessarily. It just sucks it had to be that way. This is an excellent scarecrow design. It's really disgusting and disturbing. Really like it. I like the little cutout in the hats. You can see his eye. There's just so much cool stuff in all these designs. Makes it really unique. Jack Ryder, of course, mentioned him earlier in the game. Great White Shark. Basically, Black Mask, but different. Pretty interesting, because 
there's a lot of guys like this. There's here's what I was referring to earlier, Arkham Asylum, the comic series. But yeah, and then obviously, pretty cool that Batman and Bruce Wayne have the exact same facts or attributes rather. Expert at all these things. Gee, I wonder if they're the same guy. But yeah, lots and lots of lore in this game. This, this game is how I learned about Batman stuff outside of the, the animated series, really, when I was growing up. Because I didn't really read too many of the comics um, until after I played this game. Again. Here come the Don't snipers I was discussing that. earlier. I put a few yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought these guys were going to show up, but oh, and here they are. Okay, Don't worry. Awesome. Very chance hurt. This guy's not going to see this coming. Oh, my. Looks like the Blackgate thugs have access to the armory. See if I can land on this guy. <laughs> Ow! Hey, it's rude. Oh, I forgot. Well, there you go. There's my two batarangs. Get rid of this guy. I just saw something on the ground there. Go ahead of this guy, think about it. Alright, let's check this out. And as the time as of recording this, the score it is to the Batman has been officially released. And oh my goodness, is it wow. It's probably my like top three yeah. Batman scores ever. Maybe top four. It just, it's incredible. Like, it's really hard to rank them right now. And I just realized I hadn't gone up here early. Maybe there's something up here. Or not. But, yeah, it's just everything you'd want in a Batman score while still being its own unique thing. It's probably Michael Giacchino's darkest work I've ever personally heard from him. Even darker than some of the horror stuff he's done in the past. Because it has horror, it has noir, like jazz aesthetics. But, wow, I, I was just blown away listening to the whole thing, and I cannot wait to hear it in context. If anything, I'd recommend for any listeners, don't listen to it. Oh, I guess I already listened to that. Yeah, do not listen to it. And where am I going? Oh. Well, I got lost. But, yeah, don't listen to it um, if you do want to go in completely blind. And, wow, just... Oh, what I What I did... For anyone that was like trying to get a taste of it, was just listen to the opening track. Even then, it could be spoilery. It probably spoils the opening of the movie, but it is so epic and just scary. And so many descriptors I could use for it. Oh man! Oh, something catching off guard. Guy took out those guys earlier in the hospital. Fly to your leg. This guy. Yeah. Just I cannot believe Michael Bikino exceeded my expectations. Like, I was expecting great things, but he's he's been so busy lately that not all of his scores are like some of his best material. Not not to say any of them are bad. I think they're all great. I'm gonna help these guys out, I feel bad. But yeah, disappointing. But yeah, it's just crazy to me that I mean, he was able to pull this off. Because you can tell he's passionate about it. The fact that he wrote the themes like months in advance, which is rare for film scoring, just says so much about how, how passionate everyone who worked on the project is, including Jakino himself, of course. It's just wow. She trigger fingers and Alright, this guy's going to behind. So here's the fun part about having two batterings and these two guys looking around. Any available psychos, killers, maimers, and murderers that are not getting Oops, the old that was a mistake. Cool 
I guess it's only two during combat, so this is a problem. Now they're both distracted. Let's see if I can get this guy. See you never. See you never. Ow, I'm gonna die for There we go. I wonder how I'm supposed to take those guys out. Probably some really easy way, but it feels stupid. And I died. Wow. Embarrassing. There goes my no kill. Or no death run. It's another cool thing though, I guess we get to see it. Every single character that like kills you in this game, or like that's related to some henchman guy that killed you, has a very unique, not just one though, multiple unique animations taunting you as you die. I guess the bad is bad. I've got a couple of men in the guard towers covering your movements. Be careful. Yeah, I do. Yeah, see, I don't know how I'm gonna take those guys out without being seen. It's obvious I'm supposed to. Probably just gonna use a battery and see what happens. Yeah, can see me. Any available psychos, killers, maimers, and murderers that are locked in the old mansion? Before I you to the Boom. You know what? Let's try this. I know it's not gonna work, knowing this game, but... Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. So I can take one of these guys out using... Nope, nope, that's not... Nope, I am not risking that again. Yeah, see, they, they don't fall off. That man doesn't kill, guys. It's just how it is. Rescue from a tree or something. <laughs> That's right. Go on, get lost. We're yeah, in control. Sure. Keep talking like that. Off. That well and truly bird is definitely going to be a gravestone. Kind of forgot about those guys taunting you. I think there are other situations like that in all the games, actually. And more than once in this game, see if there's any riddles out here. Nah. Right, let's get a quick upgrade. Ooh, triple battery. You know what? Fine. I'll do it. Triple battery. Why not? Yeah, I can't believe Batman just left. Yeah, the stinking coward limped off. Between his legs. If he tried to come through and take him on, he wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'd rip his head off and give it to Joker for a paperweight. I'm always sucking up to the boss. What's that supposed to mean? So this conversation is actually different if you don't go up there. Because I swear it was completely different dialogue before. He said I'd forgotten to even do that. Right, so I think that gun was gonna help him. In later games, you get to disarm them and sort of destroy the weapon. Pretty sure you can't go in here. Yeah, exactly. It's like always look up in this game whenever you it's locked. There we go. The lesson I learned earlier, and I got stuck that one time going up the elevator. Or rather, elevator chest. This thing was destroyed. Oh, here we go. As Gotham's veins slowly filled with pain and suffering, oh, the no, effects no, were felt everywhere. My father fell first, infected by some foul disease. 
My mother lived on, but only in a dream. I returned to the family home to care for her, for she remained in her bed for as long as her body continued to breathe. Her tears kept me awake at night. Wow. Pretty dark. Gee, I wonder. Pretty dark. Gee, I wonder. That's the good news. We have Dr. Yaga. Bad news is she's not talking. She's hidden a document somewhere in the mansion. I want it now. I've got a plan on six to lose her tongue. But in the meantime, search every cook and granny. There's a prize for whoever finds them. I need to find those notes before Joker does. Well, that's the mean man. That's the riddle. Check that out. That's what happens when you have three batterings. Pick this guy up. Oh, that was a mistake. That was also a mistake. Ah! Okay. Upgrade my combo fighting speed because it's just embarrassing how much I'm getting hit. See, like, come on. The other game is out of his game. It's fine. Oh, come on. This guy real quick. This guy had a chance to hit me. Before that, I'm just gonna do this real quick. There we go. And then go up there. So angry at curl these chattering teeth. Arrgh. <laughs> this guy's done. That was awesome. Cool, you can see them breathing still. I just really like that detail. What's that collar do? It's like, ooh, they didn't die. Why is it making Batman's that noise? It's the suicide collar, but it sounds weird. Suicide collar? Well, they've got some other name, but, well, we just use them to monitor patients' heartbeats. If it drops too low, the alarm goes off and a crash team rushes in. And so does my crew, if you trigger one. <laughs> How do you like them apples, bats? Standing around in the... Mm, let's see... Ah! The West Wing. They'd be there now if they weren't busy knocking a little sense into cash. I'll tell you what. I won't spoil the surprise and let them know you're coming. Mm. Something amazing about this game, because it's a Metroidvania... Let's see if there's any Easter eggs around here is as the game progresses, they, they up the challenge, instead not artificially, but by doing crazy like, oh, you just unlocked some new ability, or, or the enemies, of, or rather, sorry, let me rephrase that. So enemies will... Oh, great, this is gonna... What a badass. Sure you will. Harley Quinn is on yeah, each each situation in the game, the enemies are countering you, the player, in various, various ways. 
So right now it's these shot callers, or heartbeat callers, now no longer you just pick these guys off and then not know that they've been taken out and start making noise. So before, yeah, before they realize something's going on. Yeah, exactly, and then Joker calls it out. Earlier in the game, you can just walk around, do whatever you want. Alright, this guy is about to get... Bye-bye! That's why they have that there, so you can do that. Oh yeah, there we go. The triple battery. What? What? Whoa, 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 okay, okay, that was not... Hey. Whatever, dude. Unfair, unfair. But it's okay, we survived. Thanks. Where did Dr. Young go? I told her to run. These guys came in looking for her. I told her to go to her office and hide. Does she keep her records there? I guess. She was pretty desperate to get in there. Her office is over there. How long ago was this? I need to find her notes before Joker gets his hands on them. Twenty minutes, maybe more. What's so important about the notes? Joker wants them. That makes them important. Stay here. I'm going to find her. Not a problem. I'll try the radio, see if anyone else is around. Stay here. I'm gonna go look for riddles. Thanks for the help back there. Is anyone out there? <sighs> yeah, this room is full of riddles. Go. Patient interview one. Patient was referred to me as the incident with Dr. Murphy. He appears to have suffered a breakdown of sorts. I believe it was brought about after the loss of his wife and child. As yet, the patient has been unable to speak. Continued observation shows little mental activity. It's as if the shock of what he saw triggered his mental collapse. There's someone in here! Tim, we found him! Break down the door! Can't imagine working here. Why you'd want to work here? These people are just crazy. And there we go. Riddler trophy. You are earning my respect, Dark Knight Detective. I'll let you help me find my socks if you keep this up. Sure, buddy. Arkham Control, can you hear me? Cash Hello? Hello? Someone please respond. Alright, let's head this way. Going after the notes yourself, eh, bats? Good luck. I've got a crew working one. from the doctor as I speak. <laughs> They'll squeeze the formula out of us soon enough. Sure. There we go. Mr. Amadeus Arkham, the founder of Arkham Asylum. Quincy Sharp now pretends he's the legacy of. I'm pretty sure there's a trophy around here somewhere. Yeah. There we go. Nice green lighting. Open. Hold on. I think I've got it. 
said that ten minutes ago. You could be the one to tell him I'm not gonna. It'll be open any sec, sec, damn it. You're an idiot. Joker's not gonna be happy, and you know what that means. Quiet, just shut up. I'm trying, I'm trying. Shut it, I'm trying. It's the bat! Thought I could get in a cool takedown. I know there's a riddle here. Yep. Joker's thugs were trying to get into that office. It looks like they couldn't get through the main door. Got to find a different way in. Ah, another one of the easy ones. Don't so this is a character that I didn't really know about until this game. Even though I'd watched the animated series, I only really had the DVDs for like the first season or two. And he didn't appear to like, I think, midway through season two or three. And... I just had never heard of him until this game, and he's super important, and even more important in the later games, funny enough, but to Batman's legacy, and so I was like, wow, how did I not know about this? Because I wasn't really allowed to watch many PG-13 movies, and I know that they mispronounced his name in the game, too, or in the movie, sorry, he, he was in Batman Begins, played by Liam Neeson, and yeah, his name is Ra's al Ghul, and then that one they just go Ross, which is like, what? But... He was kind of nerfed in that. He wasn't nearly as interesting as what he is in the actual story. But it's still cool that, yet again, another character in this game that I had never heard of. And now, here we are. Feel too proud, Batman. Gee, I wonder if these guys had bothered to look over here. There's always another way in. No trophies there. And I'm pretty sure there's a riddle in this room as well. I'm not mistaken. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized something. Hold on. What is this? What are you keeping up here? Young's Tonic. Ha! Interesting. Someone has already got to the safe. The only question now is, who opened it? No sign of forced entry. Whoever opened it knew the combination. Let's see. Good. It's random buttons Dr. and Young fine got to her notes before Joker. She's taken them to hide somewhere. I need to follow her and find out where she put them. Right, but first, black mask. Since I mentioned him earlier. Yeah, this guy's is awesome too. That's the thing. They have all these characters like Black Mask, who are just old school gangsters, but twisted. And then they have the makeup or like some crazy disfigurement to make them very memorable. Kind of like a James Bond villain if you really think about it. But alright, here we go. Alright, we go. But they were like the last of their kind. Because the only real one that remains is Penguin. Oracle. Which is I'm something on they're Young's doing. Trail. I've had to calibrate the scanner to only show recent prints. If I follow these, I will find her or the notes. I hope it works. Just so you know, the GCPD found one of Joker's bombs downtown. It was full of marzipan and kittens. As I thought, it's just a twisted diversion. The real action's on Arkham. Yep. Should have stayed up there and waited for these morons. Oh, 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 oh! Dude, the thing is, I used to be so patient with these games. All I ever did was counter, which is why I was unstoppable. But then, now that I've gotten a lot better at the newer ones, I'm trying to be more aggressive. And it sucks because these guys hit faster, so it actually is easier to counter. At least on this difficulty and in this specific game. And there goes your leg. I guess this is another scarecrow. Yep. Patient interview six. Dr. Crane has been back in custody for three weeks. Psycho sessions have been inconclusive. I am not sure he is actually insane. Good evening, Stephen. How are you tonight? I'm conducting the session, Jonathan. Of course. If that helps you cope, I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's talk about the events three weeks ago. 
What did you think you'd achieve? Dr. Murphy is still in therapy. I wanted to understand him. His personal demons, his fears. It's all quite fascinating, really. But you are... You are a respected doctor. A brilliant mind. Now just another resident in Arkham. Can I have a drink? A strong one? This kind of question bores me. I'm afraid not. Interesting choice of words, mm. Tell me, what are you afraid of? <laughs> Love the uh, scarecrow similar scarecrow's voice in this game. I can already see a riddle right there. Some of the hidden question marks. Joker doesn't tell us his plan. She looks scared. Maybe she knew what was coming. There we go. Maybe. I heard he's running. These guys should be able to hear this if they probably won't. Oh nice. My journey lasted little over a month, visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone. I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits, eager to see my wife and family. I ended it kneeling in their blood, broken fragments of my life, pouring through dripping red fingers. Well, that's dark yet again. Yeah, here we go. What do you call someone who has failed to solve three quarters of my riddles? A Batman. Yeah, here we go. Penguin. It's cool, because these characters, like Raish earlier, do appear in later games. But even if they weren't physically in this game, you still get lore on them that kind of encompasses the more famous aspects of the character, whether it be through the art or through the description. I just found that really good. Yeah, that guy's done. Okay, the cape. And I've got an upgrade. Let's see, is there anything up here? I doubt it, but you know, covers to check. Ah! It's a good thing I checked. Let's get that. Let's see, what do I got here? Critical combo. So yeah, this is gonna be exactly. This will probably be how I can f hit faster. It's funny. There's like almost no combat upgrades in this game compared to the next few. So many. I think this went on to be associated with Scarecrow in later games, but it's supposed to be kind of Joker-ish in this one. See the green smiley faces everywhere. Spray painted. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Arkham Library. History is so important. A dramatic event here, a murder there. It's enough to drive anyone crazy! Congratulations! Now all you have to do is take a stroll downstairs 
and save the helpless hostages. Right. See what this says. Do not open before April 1st. Love to. Ah, of course. It's like Christmas for him. It's around here. And of course, it's a rock trophy. See if there's anything else. Oh, nice. Wonder how that got there. Always follow chattering teeth that know the way. What's up? Oh, just kidding. Oh, how frustrating! Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Has tonight taught you nothing? In two minutes, the room will fill with happy gas. The audience will be in fits of ecstasy and then die. So normally, this section. You can actually wait to the end of the timer, and it doesn't immediately go off, and there's some funny dialogue. Oh! Do you really think I'd let you yeah, take whatever. the stairs? Sorry. I was looking for riddles, man. But yeah, he has some pretty funny dialogue about it. One minute thirty to go. But, for the sake of not boring you guys to tears, I'm gonna just go through this. Let's see where it goes. I'll be joking. No? Oh, wait. That is gross. Yum, yum. Yep, here we are. Zah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright. Well, I remember playing this as a kid, just figuring this out, like, I had like 30 seconds to spare or something, I was like, ah, and now I'm just like, I know what I'm doing. It's easy. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this bomb, or whatever, is... Oh, it doesn't spoil the surprise. Of course. Thank you, Batman. Are they all gone? Yes, you're safe. What happened? It, it all happened so fast. Some patients broke in, began tearing up the place, like they were looking for something. Bill here fought back, but there were too many. They took Dr. Young. She rushed in here, and they followed. I'm sorry. When I came to, we were all tied up. Doc Young was gone. I heard a voice on one of the radios. It sounded like they were being told to meet in the warden's office. So, Dr. Young was trying to hide her research notes on the formula oh, when she was and they're right here. Where did you hide them? Didn't have to look very hard. Oracle, I found Dr. Young's formula. Cool. Great. Great. Does that mean you've stopped, Joker? It's never this simple with yep. him. What's that you got there, Bats? No! Gee, I wonder what that is. I think he probably covers his face, unless he didn't learn from earlier. But yeah, I was going to mention the cape, because I just saw it flowing, and I was like, wow. So there's this, well, famous story with this game, where one programmer spent a year perfecting the cape, or like two years, something like that. And it paid off, because the cape just looks amazing in basically all the games, so... Crazy to me, but yeah, this is a great section upcoming here. Introspective look into Batman. And since it came around the time of Dark Knight, it kind of feels Batman Begins-ish, but it definitely encompasses all the lore, just like the rest of the scheme does in general. Also a good physics showcase. Of 
point proven right there. I can't believe you insisted on sitting through that movie again, Bruce. Come on, we'll be late for Alfred. I'm sorry, Daddy. Go easy on him, Tom. He loved it so. Alfred will wait. Keep up, Bruce. Crime Alley, there it is. Very on the nose. Where are you taking us? We can cut through here. But it's starting to rain. Bruce is tired. Can't we just wait for him here? Come on, keep up. We're nearly there. Over there. Oh, God! Please, there's no need for this. Stay where you are. I'll shoot. I'll give you whatever you want. He loses this a real way. section of the Take game. Take a seat in my office. Is he okay? He'll be fine. Kid like that with all that money, he'll be just fine. Shut up. No. He's eight years old and all alone. Money won't fix that. Whatever you say, Gordon. His butler's on his way to pick him up. You hear that? He's got a butler. I'm sorry about that. I just need to ask you some questions. Can I get you anything? You okay? I know you don't feel like answering me, but it's the only way to catch who did this. <laughs> Why did you do it, officer? Why? I don't know. It's this city. There's something wrong with it. I swear that you line is the city. Has to be pulled straight from year one, and it was also a Jim Gordon line. Oh man, here we go. Really craziness. Sequences are so unique. It's so many sections of this game that I'm like, how did they even come up with that? Things are from simple Metroidvania to like Platformer, there's so many cool genres in this game. And with that excellent combat system, stealth system, and constantly. Well, at least they all didn't get used. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Definitely more. Oh, here come the Skella Boys. Oh, come on. I know That's lame. Dead. I thought there would be shadow cover. Oh, well. See? Kill speed. No, no you. Suffer. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, see, there's cover there. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was so close. So cool little 
scarecrow things. Imagine, I could not imagine him doing this. Well, scarecrow doing his own fighting? Oh, come on, I was trying to jump over him. Fighting those is so cool, they ended up adding maps based on this where you would just fight Scarecrow goons. Really cool. Gee, I wonder why this is all looking like the inside of a club. One trade off the physics. Oh my goodness. Oh, the frames. Oh. I haven't gotten this since I played the game on my original computer. All the way back in 2009. Has anyone seen the can do it. The frames. There we go. Slowly getting back up. Oh. As have I. I think this is me signing off on this episode. It's been a long one, but I'll see you guys on the next. Holy crap. This game is awesome.